Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Angela. And it is day 53, 53 days we've been drawing together. Now what do you think I am today? Aren't these awesome? They're my butterfly wings. We are going to draw a monarch butterfly today. And a monarch butterfly is the big orange and yellowy kind of butterfly, just like this. So grab your paper and your pencils, your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, and let's get drawing today. Are you ready? Okay. Now, this is going to be a lot of coloring today, um, and I want you to do this the way you want to. You don't have to follow me exactly, and if by chance you don't want a monarch butterfly, you can have a purple and pink butterfly. You can have any colors you want. I'm just going to give you the how-tos, how to make a shape, and then you do the rest of it yourself because you're the artist. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give our butterfly a little tiny head here. All right, let's see if we can get that on there a little darker. Just like that, little tiny bump. And then we're gonna go out almost like it's his shoulders, just like that. So we've got a little bump and then two little bumps that come out to the side. Now we're gonna make a big wing span. Now I'm kind of doing mine crooked on the paper, but you don't have to do it crooked. Now that's, I'm gonna do it opposite. On each side, it's gonna be almost the same. So now that's the big wing span he's got. Now we're going to come down. Now you do this any shape you want, but if you want to follow me, you could do it this way. I make this the big part of his wing, and then I go in, and this is going to be the little part. And see where his body is? That's where the little body's coming off the other end. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I am going to draw it like this. There we go. And now we have the shape of our butterfly. Remember, you do it the way you want to. If it's easier for you to draw the circle and make a line down and make his body, you can do it that way and then put the wings to it. I'm just doing the outside edge first. Now, we're gonna add all these beautiful, beautiful orange colors in here. So we are going to make shapes. And I'm gonna try to make my shapes kind of the same on each side. So I'm gonna make one there and then I'll make one there. Remember, do it your way. You can have these spots any place you want them. I'm going to make a big one there. And then I'm going to make another big one over here. And then maybe I'll make a flat top one. And this is just where we're going to add the color in it. So like I said, these can be any shapes you want. I am just adding, oh, just all kinds of shapes here. And maybe I'll put a little one there. And then I'll go over here and I'll try to do the same thing. And if it's not exactly, that's okay too. Alrighty, almost done. And a spot there. So we've got the top part, all these beautiful wings we have here. And then let's go ahead and add, let's add some down here. So when we add the color, it will almost be, you'll be able to see kind of the shape of his body because all this is gonna be black around here. Let's add some more shapes. A couple teardrop shapes, maybe. Okay. All right, now that is the shape of my butterfly, how I have got him. Remember, you can draw a circle with a line, and then you could add the wings to it if it's easier that way. I didn't draw the body because I've drawn this so many times. This is kind of the way I draw it. But you draw it the way that it's easiest for you. All right, now I am going to take orange. Now he's very orange at the top, and he has some yellow colors as we go down. So I'm going to color in the top of our butterfly orange. And I'll go over here. I guess I'm just going to jump back and forth from side to side. And this is going to take a little bit of coloring, so... It might not be the most interesting for you to watch, but, and what I'm doing here is, whoops, see, I broke my, my pastel here. Um, I'm doing just the tops of these. See how I'm leaving the bottom of it kind of open? There's a reason. I am going to get all this done. See if I can get the tops of all this so I can get going a little faster for you. This one's a lot of coloring. And maybe I'll do this whole thing in orange right here and the whole one in orange right there. And then we'll do just the tops. See how I'm leaving it almost like a candy corn? I'm leaving it white at the bottom of it. And remember, you're doing the spots any way you want. 
if I have some adults drawing this too, because this is a good one for adults to draw. You can kind of follow my directions exactly and do it like this, but like I said, you can do it differently if you're younger and this is just too hard for you. You could draw a butterfly just the way you normally draw a butterfly. All right, now I am going to take a yellow because as you see on the wings, we have, it gets kind of lighter down to yellow. See how that happens? All right, so now I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of these. And then if you're using pastels, it's going to blend a little bit. And if you're not, that's okay, because we'll have crayons or markers or whatever you're using, it all works. It all puts beautiful color on here to make a monarch butterfly. I'm gonna have to flip it upside down. I'm just having trouble with these pastels today. I think it's time for a new box of pastels. All right, we've got it. See how beautiful that looks? Kind of looks like a candy corn a little bit. Remember candy corn we did just a few days ago? So you can see how it changes in color. It makes it very, very pretty. All right, now let's go ahead and we are going to do, whoops, you know what? I forgot a little part here. We'll just make it orange. There we go. Now we're gonna do the rest of it in black. This is all the big black lines and everything. Now this takes a little bit of drawing and he, since he's got some white spots on him, can you see the white spots here? We're gonna just try to leave those spots in there. So that way, cause it's hard to put um, a color over the top. So see how I'm making a circle? Then I'm coloring in, I'm making a circle and I'm coloring it in. So I'll make a couple circles like that and then I'll color in all around them. We don't need too many. You can, you can make this as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. It's kind of all up to you. I'm trying to do it, uh, I think this one's kind of a hard one to do it just the way I'm doing it today, but I think you can do it. All right, it's looking beautiful. I think I'll leave some spots over here too. So see how I made a couple little round circles and I'm not gonna color them in. They're kind of like the highlights we do in eyes. We try to stay away from them. And then I'll just color it in like this. And maybe because this is looking a little empty right there, I'll put a couple white spots in there. See how I'm making it up as I go along? There's no rhyme or reason or no rules to art. You just do it and have fun. Now, while I'm coloring, I'm going to talk to you about something that's coming up. Now, it's not coming up for about three days. In three days, we're going to do a different kind of a drawing that I am going to put online. I'll put it on my Facebook page. And I want your parents, if you have a printer, to print out the picture for me. Because we are going to use a picture to help us do our next one. Or well, now in three days, three days. So um, it's going to be the Mona Lisa. So it's gonna be a really neat thing. We're gonna do something really fun with the Mona Lisa. So hopefully everybody's got printer ink still at home and you can print out a picture before Saturday is when we're gonna do it. So be ready for Saturday, have a print of this Mona Lisa for me. And if you don't, if you don't have it, you could always draw the Mona Lisa all by yourself and just the way you want her to be. Or if you have your parents, send me a private message on Facebook. I can tell them a very tricky way if you don't have a printer how they can get a picture for you of the Mona Lisa. But I'm not telling you because they don't want anything to happen to their computers because I said, well, go ahead and do this. So you'll have to just have your parents do it. And like I said, most people will have a printer ink right now, but if you don't, if for some reason you can't print it, you just let me know, private message me, and I'll tell you a nice kind of easy way to get the same picture without using a printer. All right, I'm getting there. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to fly over to the other side and I'm going to do it over here because I think it might be easier. Now, I'm not coloring in super great because this is a lot of coloring today. Now, I would like to see what colors you did. Did you make yours a black and orange and yellow monarch or did you make yours into a purple and pink butterfly? Or maybe, I don't know, there's all kinds of different colored butterflies. They're beautiful. Now, I have a niece and she loves butterflies. She has them, she starts them right from their little cocoons and she takes care of them and then she releases them. And it's, she loves it. She just loves, loves, loves butterflies. And she even has pictures of butterflies landing on her. They're on her head and I don't know, maybe they're on her nose. I'm not sure, I can't remember that, but they're always, she always takes pictures. 
and it's very, very, very pretty. As a matter of fact, she's a photographer and she takes pictures of wildlife. Now, wildlife is things that live outside. They're not like dogs and cats. They're like any kind of animal that really lives in the wild. And she takes a lot of nature pictures, but she takes a lot of butterfly pictures and they're always very, very beautiful. So, okay, now, almost done, almost done. Matter of fact, this niece that I'm talking about, she draws with me. And sometimes she gets very frustrated and she's an adult, so she has her husband help her out with the parts that are just driving her crazy that she can't do. All right, now, the coloring isn't great, but look how awesome that butterfly is. And that is from just taking your time and coloring, and you can get the same colors as a real monarch. Now, if you want to, you can do the background in some greens, and that would look like he is landing on a bush or he's someplace, and I'm gonna go on this side, and I'm not even sure you're gonna, you can even see these, and then maybe I'll use some darker green. So you don't have to use just one color in the background either. I'm gonna use some light green and some dark green, and I'm not pushing too, too hard, so I'm not sure you're gonna see it. But I always like the color of butterflies these monarch butterflies on a green background because it really 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 makes the butterfly pop makes them really show up and i would even if i was taking more time i would even put some yellow in here because that would be really really pretty so i want you to try this and i would love to see your fly your flies your butterflies i guess i got to put the butter in the front of it and i would love to see how they look so I love these wings. I love these wings. I might just have to wear them all over the place. What do you think? Would I, would I cause a, a, a scene if I went out on the street and walked with my butterfly wings? People would say, who is that crazy lady? Okay, boys and girls, I will see you tomorrow. Do what I tell you every day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands. I want you to listen to your parents. I want you to stay creative. And I want you to be kind to each other. And I will see you tomorrow. Now, tomorrow we're going to do a cartoon character from when I was a kid. But I think you still might know him. His name is Fred Flintstone. So we are going to learn how to draw Fred Flintstone. And then I think the day after that is how to train your dragon. And then the Mona Lisa. So I'm going to post that picture of the Mona Lisa. I want to see if you... If your parents can print you a copy before Saturday, so you got three days to print it. So I will see you then, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye now.